A Springfield couple is suing a local hospital after their baby died and their lawsuit claims they got the wrong remains. This happened more than a year ago. They have decided to come forward now and share this very personal story with our Ashley Reynolds in hopes of it never happening again. Now, we do want to warn you, this topic may be extremely sensitive to some viewers. He was working overnight. He came home and I surprised him um, with a test that was positive. Last summer, Brittany Amy and Zach Page knew two lines meant their lives would forever change. It was a shock for sure. It was really exciting at the same time. So I, I couldn't even focus at work because I was just like, I'm going to be a dad. I'm yeah, like, that's cool. So. Brittany couldn't wait to see her baby Paige for the first time. Being able to hold what we created together and what we started a life for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But Brittany had a feeling she would not have a baby to hold that Christmas. A doctor confirmed what she sensed. At 12 weeks, mm -hmm. no heartbeat. The couple asked for their baby's remains. According to the lawsuit, a funeral home picked them up from Mercy Hospital. After the cremation, they placed the silver heart urn next to baby's first onesie, handpicked for earth by my grandpa in heaven, in honor of Brittany's late father. A few weeks later, the couple had just started to heal when the lawsuit says one phone call from Mercy Hospital changed that. After that is when it really started to go downhill for us. It's very traumatizing. The first remains that we were able to pick up was not ours. The couple was told their baby's remains were ready to be picked up. She told them, I already have my baby. And they clarified and said, no, we have it. Even though the first time they said that one was ours. Did you think it was, they called the wrong person? I mean, what? I was in complete shock. I honestly had no idea what to think in that moment. According to court documents, the funeral home picked up the remains and the couple was given a second urn. And then this is our second one. This time it was red. Brittany and Zach had a lot of unanswered questions. How do we know the first baby they gave us is ours or is it the second one? And there's, there's no way of telling. And I think that's what's frustrating. According to court documents, Brittany was directed to call Mercy Hospital Risk Management with her questions. Instead, she called an attorney. If there's not a lawsuit brought, if someone's not really held accountable for it, then nothing changes. Attorney Grant Rawmeyer says he's determined to find out what happened. I want to see, did Mercy investigate this at all? We wanted to know that too. Mercy declined our request for an on-camera interview, but sent us this statement saying... Our hearts go out to Brittany and Zachary. Nothing can prepare you for the loss of a child, and we understand their desire to find closure. However, the parents were never provided with fetal remains other than those of their infant. Objective evidence confirming this has been shared with the parents and their counsel. We hope this helps the parents find some sense of closure, knowing they have their infant's remains. After they sent us this statement, Mercy sent security video to the couple's attorney. The attorney then sent it to us. We're going to walk you through what the video appears to show. This is from last year, June 20th, when a Mercy technician took the remains of baby Paige to the morgue. You can see the lab tech had a small package that looks like an envelope. At 11.25, you see the technician go to another room. The tech returns with both the envelope and a small white box. That contains the remains, according to them. That's the attorney clarifying that Mercy told him baby Paige's remains are in the box, not the envelope. As the video continues, it shows the tech placing both the envelope and the box in the morgue. A few hours later, a security guard walks in with who we are told is a funeral worker there to pick up the remains. The security guard goes into the cooler and comes back with only the envelope, not the small white box. The security guard shows the envelope to the funeral home worker. The funeral home worker nods, places the envelope on the table, and reviews paperwork. 30 seconds later, the funeral worker points to something on the envelope. We don't know what. This video has no sound. Then they leave the envelope on the table and both walk out. Nearly two minutes later, they return, fill out the paperwork, then the funeral worker leaves with the envelope. Brittany and Zach later picked up the urn from the funeral home with what they thought were the baby's remains inside. 
Romero says Mercy's attorneys claimed the envelope never had any human remains inside, but wouldn't say what was in it. Brittany and Zach, their trust is so violated right now. They're, you know, they're just kind of, they just learned about this a few days ago, too, after dealing with it for a year. Why weren't they just up front and telling them all of this a year ago when it happened? The attorney says he did not get any videos or photos from Mercy from the day the funeral home worker came to pick up what the couple thought was the second set of remains. I don't want this to happen to someone else. Right. So if maybe if something can change with Mercy Hospital, that no one has to go through it what we're experiencing right now. We want answers. We want to see what went wrong where. Um, we want the closure. And I want to be able to be the voice for another mom who doesn't have to go through this. Because it's, it's awful. I called the funeral home and was told in these cases they might get a container or an envelope. The outside of the envelope is usually labeled with the mother's information. I'm told they rely on the hospital and their staff to give them the remains when they arrive. Some of you might wonder if there's a way to DNA test the remains to see if they are really baby Paige. In most cases, the extreme heat involved in cremation makes that unlikely. Mercy has not filed an answer to the complaint, but has filed a motion seeking to dismiss the couple's claim for punitive damages as premature. We'll continue to follow this story. For On Your Side, I'm Ashley Reynolds.